Here at brand new CQ Arena, the Towson Tigers have been near perfect. Something the defending conference champion James Madison Dukes are eager to ruin. James Madison starting out with a straight man-to-man. -man. Expect to see a lot of zone, maybe 50% of the time, just to throw, try to throw Towson off balance. From the corner, it's Damas, and that's a great start for senior Marcus Damas. And uh, great anticipation skill skills. They can really turn a game around with their deflections. They allow just 67 and a half points per game, second best in the conference of the Dukes. And they create another turnover. And Seminoff won't finish, but finally Bessick says enough. Wow, nice. The crossover. Tries to make one more pass, and the Dukes were ready for it. Ahead is Cook. See, here's the problem when Benman brings it up. When but number 40 in purple checks in for Taylor Bessick. Inside, Nation nice. gets it to go as Seminoff again makes a beautiful entry pass. Well, Seminoff is, is a fifth-year senior. He's been around the block. He understands how important it is to move the basketball. And he had 24 points on Indiana in last year's NCAA game. As a freshman, no less. He leads the Dukes in scoring right now with six. Remember, he has two personal fouls as well. Deep three. And look at that stroke by Marquis Marshall, looking like his dad. Towson, by the way, is 6 of 11 from three. That'll get it done, and that's why they are on top by 15. The 3-2 zone. McGlynn tries to beat it and does. Over the top for three is for McGlynn. I love the fact that the College of Charleston is in this conference, too. I mean, I just think it adds a different dimension. There's four for three. Guthrie will try a three and buries it. So Mike Burwell continues to play terrific basketball. He's, he's got 12 points. Here he is again. Had it knocked out of his hand, but Marquis Marshall will finish the thank you touch. These guys want to go up and down. Thomas and Burwell and Marshall and Veneman. A three for Andre Nation.